So a quick video about the Model 030. We've written an article about here, which I'm actually going to um, put a link to in the bottom of this video as well. So the Model 030 is what you use to register your NIE at the tax office. And the reason that I'm talking about this today is because it's come up recently with non-lucrative visa clients. Uh, I want to explain why. It's all about the timing and the misunderstanding uh, with, with language and words and stuff, which has caused some confusion, really. Um, basically, if you had an NIE number before you apply for your non-lucrative visa, then the norm is you use that NIE number across the board with your application forms, and um, when you get your visa, it's awarded with the NIE number, and then when you come to register your visa here in Spain, then you get the same NIE number. Now, the fact that you had an NIE number before you came to Spain means that you must have done something in Spain fiscally, because you wouldn't get one just for having one. You would need one for buying a house, uh, buying a car, as a non-resident, you can buy a car, paying non-residence tax. So the norm is that if you have previously had a NIE number, you've got it, you would have got it for a reason, as I say, the biggest reason normally buying a house, which means you would have already been registered with the tax office, and when you come to bring your personal shekels across to Spain uh, with a transport company, and you'll have an agent, this and an import agent who will be cl clearing them through customs, uh, then customs will be able to identify you on the tax website on the tax uh, uh, system, shall we say, as having a registered NIE, which means once you present, prevent the, uh, present the relevant documents, you can get your shekels without paying any tax. What's happening is for people who have only just got a non lucrative visa and have been awarded their NIE number given, shall I say, shouldn't say awarded, really, what should we say, assigned, assigned an NIE number with your non lucrative visa. Um, that NIE number won't be registered with the tax office, which sometimes causes problems, causes problems when people come to bring their shekels across, because you have to go through the process of registering here for your TIE card stage two, before you can do your model 030. And I'm going to explain why it's very, very, very important that you get your stage two <coughs> appointment complete before. <clears throat> Excuse me. Register with the t before you register with the tax office. Uh, so you can't release your personal goods and shekels normally until you register with the tax office. Uh, we've seen in some occasions this year people have been able to register with the tax office using their using a, a financial professional and using the visa and their passport. But you shouldn't do it until you've got all the way to stage two. You've registered with the authorities here and you've got that document in your hand called a res guardo it says all I'm doing is waiting for my residency card. The reason you shouldn't do that is because if there's been any mistakes, we've seen them uh, mainly by Edinburgh this year, but we've seen mistakes in NIE numbers with the visas. We've seen mistakes with names on the visas. We've seen mistakes from immigration. <clears throat> Those mistakes get corrected at the point of stage two when you register for residency so you get your visa your visa that's your status you're allowed to come over here and register for residency when you get here if there's any problems again as i said we've seen some problems mainly from edinburgh uh when people have got here you can't preempt these problems it's just mistakes they make and they come out in the wash when you get to your stage two which means then we have to contact immigration we have to say look there's a mistake on this visa and it could be related to the nie number and this is why i say don't register your model 030 before everything is rectified. There's never a problem in regarding your status, you always, you've had your visa approved, it's not a problem, it's you, they know it's you, but there might have to be some adjustments on their internal system before they can get, you get your res guarda document which proves that you've been and registered with the authorities. So, once you've done that, you can then register, whoever's doing your import will then register your model 030, um, or if you've got a tax professional over here who's dealing with your tax affairs, they might do it for you. Maybe it's a store, maybe it's a, 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 a tax uh, company, you know, who will be doing your returns moving forward. But certainly, in my opinion, until you get your stage two appointment passed and you've got that res guardo document in your hand, it's not a good idea to register your model 030.
Now, what's the problem? The problem is, is also when you move here, you need your personal shekels, and it could be a month until you get your appointment. So we always try and preempt when the appointments can be. You know, the appointments are, are, are difficult to get hold of at times, especially the type that we're looking for. <clears throat> now, currently, there's some areas which are now booking appointments in February. Can you believe it? In February. So, um, so yeah, and until you've got that risk water, it's not advisable to register your model 030, which means you can't release your, your, your shekels as such. So that's where the problem lies, and this is where the confusion's lying, because people are trying to get their goods um, released before they've registered their NIE with the tax office, and the tax office is saying, oh, the NIE is not valid. It's not valid. Well, they're not valid. What's happening is that the customs agents are going on, they can't find the registration of the NIE number, or not active. I already had someone say, oh, the NIE is not active. No, it's not active with the tax office until you present that document. So, so yeah, um, the first thing to do is assess from the start. So whoever you're working with to do your non lucrative visa, it's good right at the beginning to assess. Now we're gonna start this. We weren't doing this before as part of the process because it's something that didn't come up much we've already had people who had previously registered with the tax office because they bought properties people previously had nie numbers but for absolute newbies who are coming over who've never had an NIE number it's got you've got to then assess the timeline as strictly as possible it's so hard so hard to do because we don't know once the initial um, application has gone into the consulate how long it'll take to respond then people have got to adhere to their, their, their travel plans, they might have to change their travel plans. Evidently people's circumstances are different. They could be moving, they could be selling a property where they're coming to live here. You know, everybody's in a circumstance. Ideally you'd have a you know one house in the UK to your left and a free house here to get here and, uh, and then you know work at your own speed. So, but yeah, uh, it's a big, 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 big decision uh, coming over, and obviously the planning is, is very, very tough to do. But, you know, you've got to be prepared that your stuff could be held up if it's your first time over, and you're just waiting for that stage two appointment before you can register with the tax office to get your goods released. Anyway, as I said, we are going to put, I'm going to put now a link to this article below, which shows you either, A, how to do it yourself, um, I wouldn't advise you do that, I'm going to be honest, even if you have a change of circumstances, you use a model 030 as well, and I use my accountant to do it, because I'm not going to do it myself, um, immigration, brilliant, yep, but I'm not, I don't even do my own model 030, so if you have a change of circumstance, like a change of address or something, you know, so definitely get a, a professional to do it for you. A lot of the times, the transport companies, they will do it for you. They will work alongside people here and they'll make sure that you register correctly. But as I said, it's my opinion that you should not register with the tax office until you've been for all your stage to appointment. You've got that document called a resguardo in your hand, okay, which says, right, that's it in 45, minute, in 45 days, I can pick up my, my TIE card. Then we know exactly the name on the red squad though. We know the name's correct, we know the NIA number's correct, and with that you can go and register for the tax office. Okay, I hope that's helped. I really do. And please don't forget to, to like our videos and share and subscribe.